Next, we have balance. So, ito element din siya ng art or ng isang artwork, 2D art. Distribution of actual or apparent weight of elements in a composition. So, sa so pag-balance, makikita natin na ano, para may sense ka na calm yung photo or yung artwork kapag balance yung kagano na sa photo na to um, in emphasize talaga dito ang balance pictorial balance refer to the visual weight of elements in two dimensional art so symmetry yung pinag-uusapan natin when we say symmetry refers to the similarity of form or arrangement on either side of a dividing line or plane or the correspondence of parts in size shape and position so, when we say symmetry, kapag hinati mo siya sa gitna at pantay, yung nakikita mo, kumbaga mirror siya of one another that is symmetrical. Kapag hindi naman siya mirror ng one another, kapag hinati mo sa gitna, that is asymmetrical. Okay, example, is this one? Ito, symmetrical siya, no? Kasi pag dinivide mo siya sa gitna, nakikita mo na they are a mirror of one another. Gito din. Ito, yung ano lang ha, hindi yung mga puno, hindi kasali yung mga puno. But, the building itself, ayan, the US Capitol Building in Washington, D.C., kapag hinati mo siya sa gitna, gitnang gitna, they will be a mirror of one another. Ito din, example. Ito, a very good example of that one would be this one. Ayan. And pag asymmetrical naman, yan nga, sabi natin, skewed but their brain is registering overall balance still. Parang pag hinati mo siya sa gitna, hindi siya balance. They are not completely a mirror of one another. That is asymmetrical. Example. Dami naman tayong example ng this. Okay, then vertical. So, yan, makikita natin na there is uh, may emphasis dito sa so, vertical. Kapag nga vertical, diba, nakatayo. No? May emphasis on this. Okay, diagonal. Emphasis is, yan, pa-diagonal siya or pa-slant. No? And imbalance, not all arts aims to be aesthetically pleasing. Some artists aim to shock the viewer or to play the viewer's discomfort. So, may mga, ano eh, may mga viewers or mga audience na kapag nakakita na, ng ganito, halimbawa itong nasa picture na to, they would feel somehow uncomfortable or parang nakaka yung part na to. Or parang hindi ka, ayaw mo siyang tingnan ng matagal. Nakaka, ano nga, nakaka, hindi siya comfortable for the feeling of for someone's feeling. Ayan. Emphasis is emphasis to focus viewers' attention on one or more parts of composition. It accentuates certain shapes. Diba? When we say emphasis, we are um, highlighting one shape or one part of the artwork. And it intensify value or color can be, diba? Kasi pwede natin i-brighten yung isang side and dull lang yung iba. It may feature directional lines, yan, strategically place of objects and images, yan, emphasis yung tawag natin dyan. Emphasis can be affected when several of our work's components direct the viewer's gaze toward the focal point. So, parang kapag may gusto kang emphasize, kailangan mong gumawa or i-experiment yung mga diniscuss nating elements for them to be emphasized. No? On this one, we use focal point or viewer's focal point in such a way na you are emphasizing at um, in the middle of his eyes. Yan. Depende dun sa artwork na meron tayo. Ayan. When you want to emphasize on things, you may brighten up the color of some parts. Example. Ayan. And emphasis by isolation. You may emphasize one thing if you will be isolating this from the rest of the subject. Diba? Like in this one. Yan, emphasis using directional lines, colors, and content. So, it is emphasized in this photo that um, the woman wearing orange is something to be highlighted on. Diba? Kung yun yung gusto mong i-highlight or i-emphasize, i-brighten mo yung color niya. And the rest of them, monochromatic yung shades. Or parang mga dull lang, calm lang yung color. Yan. Ang uh, emphasis din dito ay yung ano, ba Yung flowers. Nasa gitna din siya. Then itong woman nasa side. Can be. Yan. Emphasis. I-white mo yung damit niya. Medyo golden brown yung pants. And it can be um, emphasized already. Yan. Rhythm. Regular repetition of sensory impressions. Artists can enhance or exaggerate individual elements in their compositions through minor and major variations in rhythm. So, sa rhythm naman... Um, pwede dito yung mga patterns, no? Kung gusto mong may regular repetition of some 
shapes, some objects can be. It can also be done. Example. Ayan, scale, ito naman yung size. Okay? Size naman yung sinasabi natin on scales. Size of something in relation to what we assume to be normal. Diba? So, can be sobrang taas, sobrang laki, but some can be sobrang liit naman. Diba? Depending nga siya dun sa mga objects na nandun. Other objects that are highlighted in an artwork. Diba? Yan. Diba? It can be depicted na sobrang laki nitong itong animal na to kasi itong itong tingnan niyo dong yung point of view niyo yung mga tao na nasa likod ba ayan ito makikita niyo rin yung tinan niyo yung comb malaki siya kasi kung yung point of view mo or tinitingnan mo ay yung kama di ba ayan hierarchical scaling use of relative size to indicate the relative importance of the objects of or people being depicted. So, yan, parang ha- may hierarchy ng scaling. May mga normal yung laki, then mga hindi naman normal yung laki, ba? Diba? So, ano siya, depende dun sa mga other subjects na nakikita natin on, on artwork. Distortion. Some artists distort or even subvert the realistic scale of the objects to challenge the viewer to look at the familiar, um, at to look at the familiar in a new way. Parang, um, dinidistort, sinasadya to na ibang artist especially contemporary artists, parang maiba lang doon sa mga nakasanayan natin, di ba? Hindi naman issue yung originality, di ba? When it comes to contemporary artwork. Kasi you want to give another meaning or another interpretation of an existing artwork. Ayan, examples. Ayan, proportion refers to the size of one part in relation to another within a work. So, ito yung mga cute kung titingnan natin, no? Or the size of one part in relation to the whole. Kasi titingnan mo siya as one whole, then titingnan mo din yung bawat part niya kung proportion siya dun sa wholeness of the subject as indicated in an artwork. Yan mga examples. Yan, diba? Parang sobrang... Ayan, may mga parts of the bodies that are highlighted or emphasized on this. Tapos tinignan din natin if proportional ba siya dun sa other subjects or objects na nakikita natin on the photo. Okay, so contemporary art production. Ayan, ano naman to? Parang to produce a contemporary art. And nabanggit naman natin na um, ayan nga, um, lahat ng artworks that we do in the 21st century that would be contemporary. Especially if it reflects our values during the 21st century. Um, time, ganyan. Kung yun, yan, contemporary art production siya. Ayan, every art making process is dictated by the artist's style. Depending nga sa'yo, di ba mga artist naman hindi sila pare-pareho. Yung mga means nga natin or yung mga medium natin would be different. Some would be visual artists, some would be performance artists, iba-iba, di ba? Writers, pwede rin. The significance of style lies on the fact that it allows the viewer to discern the meaning behind the subject matter and purpose of painting. So, ito, ang emphasize lang natin naman dito ay 2D arts pa lang, no? Yung iba naman ay, ibang artworks, I mean, um, in the following weeks na yun. Ayan. Mga ano lang naman to, mga production, contemporary art production. Stylistic tendencies manifested in the works of the artists. Creative interventions attributed to artists working in certain times and in specific places. So, ano, parang ibig sabihin lang naman dito ay um, ano yung napoproduce ng isang artists na isang art during a certain time. No? Halimbawa, in this, um, in this time of pandemic, artists may produce some visual arts showing, um, showing support the frontliners or to COVID survivors, COVID patients. Diba? Depende sa style na meron sila. Abstract. Ayan. Different styles lang naman to and examples of artworks. Ayan. Mga colorful artworks having geometric patterns, designs, and different colors. Ayan. Stylistic tendencies. The style of objective accuracy. Many contemporary artists face the problem of creating an impression of reality through selective use of visual facts. Diba? Um, actually, hindi naman siya kailangan very realistic. Kailangan mo lang i-express yung sarili mo and that's it. Okay? That's not a problem sa contemporary arts. Either by being the touch observer or by employing a selective eye. Ayan. So, 
and correct drawing, handling uh, light, focus, color perspective. Actually, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya ganun ka critical when it comes to contemporary artworks, no? Sabi ko nga, as long as you are expressing your ideas, your thoughts, your emotions, etc. So, that is an artwork already. Hindi naman kailangan maging perfect. It just needs to be true. Hindi naman kailangan perfect. Ayan. Examples. Remembering past mistakes. Diba tingnan nyo, sobrang nakita ko lang to sa internet and ang ganda niya. Ang ganda nung pagkakakuha, ang ganda nung meaning. Diba matanda siya, tapos parang, tapos yung title pa niya, Remembering Past Mistakes. Diba very, ano, parang ang award winning. Ayan, examples. Ayan, the style of formal order associated with ability and permanence. No? Parang ano lang naman to, parang formal, dapat permanent yung mga yung pagkakalagay ng mga shapes, colors, tsaka yung mga, dapat kumbaga constant, or merong patutunguhan, may direction, yung, yung geometric lines and patterns. Ayan, emotion, di ba? It can depict emotion as well, when personal feelings are disclosed by the artists. Di ba? Ang mga artists kasi, para nakakapag-produce sila ng isang artwork kapag, Um, napoprovoke yung emotions nila, no? Or natatouch yung emotions nila in one way or another. Like this one. Diba makikita nyo yung emotion na pinapadama dito ng artists through this kind of artwork? Yan. Style of fantasy when artists discover possibilities or new world. Parang, ito common to sa mga bata, eh. Diba? Um, they paint mermaids. What else? Unicorns. ba? Diba? So, yung mga ganyan bagay. And some national artists lang naman. Pero hindi lahat, no? Ito lang yung mga sikat Filipino artists. Carlos Botong Francisco, ayan. Mga artwork niya. Si, ano, si Victoria Edades. Ano din siya, visual artists. So, ayan, mga artwork din nila yan. First, Mass of Limasawa by Carlos Botong Francisco. Ayan. And for your task, ang gagawin natin would be an editorial cartoon analysis. Okay? So, in this test, you are required to look for, hindi naman necessary na recent siya, but kung ano yung gusto nyo, no? Pero sa, sabi ko ah, hindi naman kailangan recent, but kung ano, kung ano yung mas preferred nyo na editorial cartoon. When we say editorial cartoon, nandun siya sa ano ha, sa mga newspapers, ba diba? Sa mga editorial pages, Makik- makikita naman kayo sa internet. Published or created on a Philippine tabloid or website. Kung hindi na kayo nagbabasa ng diaryo, na feeling ko nga ay nawawala na through time, di ba? Kasi more on sa internet na tayo. Okay lang din naman sa website. And you analyze it using the different mediums, techniques, or elements discussed. Okay? So, look for a editorial cartoon sa net or sa diaryo. Ganyan. Tapos, analyze nyo siya using the different Techniques or mediums or elements na na-discuss natin. Okay? And, yung next meeting natin, di ba twice a week tayo, i-devote nyo yun to make this task. Okay? Then, yung submission niya, one week after. No? So, you have seven days. Pero, huwag nyo nang sayangin yung period natin next meeting. Use it wisely and use it to create your task. And, submit it via course message. No? Tapos, lagay nyo lang task 2 dun sa, sa subject. And, yun na yun. Okay, so, editorial cartoon, analyze na siya, syempre may essay kayo dyan ng analysis ng artwork nyo. Tapos, popost ko yung rubrics. Okay, so, that's it for today. I hope you're all safe and sana may natutunan kayo on this lesson. Okay, I'll see you ulit next time. Bye-bye!